Hello guys, uh, today we will make a basic uh, bucket which basically uh, is like I'll, uh, it is a very simple way of creating a bucket I'll not complex it so that people who are starting in Maya do not get uh, frightened or do not get scared of making all those fancy buckets that you see and fancy stuff that you see like uh, a ha fancy house and fancy models so if you're even starting out you can explore more and this is just an example of what you can explore into and what areas can you explore into like creating buckets creating houses creating simple guard towers that i've created videos for so you can watch those if you want and if you haven't started uh, if you want to start maya again like the uh, maya uh, like from beginners point of view or uh, you want to begin uh, learning maya so you can watch my few videos that i've created for um maya basics and basic things like how to create a scene, how to save a scene, how to move, what axes there are, x-axis, y-axis and z-axis and what tools there are uh, and how you create objects like uh, cubes, triangles and spheres and all that. I've created those videos separately so you can go watch them. And one more thing, if you can go like and if you can go subscribe, it's going to be great help for me so that we can grow the channel and more people can see it. So let's get into this and let's create... Um, let's create now yeah. first I will take a basic uh, sphere so that or um, I'll just take a basic uh, what do you call cylinder and then you will just press W for move to it and first just press F to like focus on it so that it looks like uh, so that you can just zoom out a bit and then just increase in the center size and then when you go out I'll show you a basic uh, what a uh, uh, tub looks like or uh, one second let's just load the video yeah so let's search how to make a, a basic bucket basic bucket or even a bucket Sorry. Sorry. So I'll just show you an example of creating a basic bucket, not very difficult. So I'll just take this for the first time, or if you can take a simple square one. So if you can see the the sides of it are uh, the bottom of it is small, and the upper part is is broader. So that this means that. Uh, if you see the sphere in Maya, it is short of uh, it is equal in, in top and bottom. So if you ca if you want, you can create uh, an equal size uh, uh, bucket. But um, logically, uh, uh, for that basis for this as well, when you see this also is small from the bottom and big from the top, so that if you can put it again on top of each other and it creates more area for it in the other top. And this one is the same thing. So I will take this as a reference or this as a reference whatever you want I'll just take this as a reference and then I'll just create this and I'll create my version of it so that uh, it's much different than normal buckets so first what will we do we will take the cylinder um, and we'll create one more uh, cylinder or like we'll just take this and just scale it a bit more so that it's much more visible for you guys and then we gonna take the upper part like this the upper part and by uh, the upper part I mean the upper faces of it so we can scale them out so it looks a bit bigger from the top take the faces go to side view any side view any any side view is fine and you select the, all the all the faces from here and then press control or uh, control and then deselect all the faces so that it basically uh, so if you want to select so selecting is basically the mouse cursor from the left button just select it like this and then when you press control you can deselect uh, the faces that you selected some of the faces uh, and so like all these commands that I'm giving right now they're already there in the video that I've already posted regarding the basic commands that I've created so when you see here you can just go in the perspective view and just press or like just extrude or just just, just expand a bit this mouth is fine just this your 
perception of how do you perceive a bucket to be and from the bottom I will create I'll take this I will deselect this then I'll focus here then I press W and then I'll go to the bottom part sorry the perspective part sorry then I'll mistake press R for R for scale and reduce scale of it just a bit not too much just a bit and then go back to the side view and then extrude it with just a bit and then press R again to extrude it out yeah that much is fine yeah. and then press R again extrude it a bit downwards so that it can create a curving, a curving uh, kind of yeah, like angle like from here curves here and then here and then here but it looks good Okay, no, this is not open. Oh, one second, press four. Yeah, one second. This is final next word again. Oh, well, just do it. Do. Next, put this outwards, and then I shoot this, and then um, one second. And I think this is fine. This is fine for the base. If you want, you can just like add um, a bevel to it, and I'll do that at the last so that it acts as a bevel. And then I will select these again so that I can create an inward curve or inward uh, curvature to it. Like it looks like you. Uh, so when you see a bucket from inside, it's curved from the bottom, or you can see it uh, if flat as well. But I will just select for one second. I'll just show you. So when you see here this curve, did you see this curve? This curve from the inside is curved from the um in the in this angle. So it's curved inward, just a bit, not too much, just a bit. So I'll try to do that. I'll select this. I'll deselect the part, and then I'll press four. 4 takes you to wireframe mode. I'll press R again. Scale mode. And then I'll extrude a bit. This much is fine. And then I'll extrude a bit more towards it. Now I'll like scale it a bit more. This much is fine. And then I will scale it a bit more. Is it downwards? <clears throat> is that? And I'll see how this looks from the top. Oh, we have to delete that as well. This looks okay. And then I'll just take this downwards. Let me just go here. Yeah. Yep. Extruded. Just a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this looks good. This looks okay. Okay, this is fine. And now what we can do is that we can create kind of a groovy kind of thing. Like, if you want, you can just select certain faces from the sides or that you can just select these and extrude it down a bit so that it creates a groovy kind of thing 
like something like this or something like this just a bit curve it's your choice it's all, all on you and then now what we can do is this part is done we go to the left once again one second what is this yeah this one so you can see basic curve in the top we can see that as well we will select this upper part of the um, bucket over the side view we will zoom out a bit we will select this we will deselect this we will extrude it or else, or else what we can also do at the same time is we can select this deselect this press W and move it down a bit and then press R again to scale it out this, this is that much you want and then scale it up and then scale it in like one thing I'll show you so that you can see here there's a particular curve that you see at the top and particular curve that you see at the bottom so I'm gonna create a bit more noticeable curve that you can see or else yeah and then I will take it a bit upwards extrude it a bit upwards and then I'll press R I'll create a kind of a small curvish area so that it looks like going upwards I'll, I'll go here I'll create again I'll create a curvish area a kind of uh, a squarish so uh, sphere, spherical squarish uh, roundings basically if you can see here so a person can hold it from the bottom I'll create the curves but then before that I will just create this and now the top view I'm just gonna extrude it a bit inwards and go to the top view press forward and extrude it till the time it doesn't and now I will extrude it downwards yeah and then go here press R scale inwards and press downwards there it looks fine so in here this looks ok as well and this looks fine F8 full object mode this looks ok I'll move this upwards from the base we will soften this out as well we first need to create a grooves in it so for the circle selection uh, of uh, faces in a circle what you can do is select the first face like a basic face any face in the circular uh, uh, dimension or area and then you press shift and double click the other circle that's like go as in to the right or the left one of that circle and then now what you can do is that you can select go press F for focus and then just just go near it just a bit so that you can see the move tool press R press plus for the move tool to get the fader and then press or else what you can do is that yeah so what I've done here is that I've taken I've taken the particular face and I've selected it and then I've reduced the size of it like the base of it and then I've uh, extruded again and then I've moved it upwards I'll show it again so I've selected the faces I'll press R for scale I'll press shift and I'll extrude it a bit just a bit and then I'll press W I'll take the move tool 
I will press shift again and then move it upwards just a bit just a bit and that's it and that will create a, create a groove kind of thing so that you can hold your fingers in it, underneath it and then I will create a similar kind of groove here I guess it will be needed or else I will keep it as flat that's better I think flat is better yeah flat is better and now what we can do is we can create the object that holds both the sides together uh, we'll finish this first mm, yeah I'll first yeah so I'll press shift I'll go to edge I'll select the edge Oh, I'll just shift again. I'll move it down a bit or just like just a bit. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. And now I will do that. I'll add edge to object. Yeah. One second. Or else you can one second. Or else you can just go to edit my select the object. No, I don't want this. I don't want this. Yeah. No bro. F eight. Sorry. Yeah. I select this, I'll go to Edit Mesh, Edit Mesh, and then go to one second, sorry, Mesh. Uh, one second, where is Spine Geometry, Find this Forward, Edit Mesh? I can't see that. And as to what I can see, so what I'll do is that. Like this, I'll go to edit mesh. Mesh. Yeah, sorry, just see that. And now what I can do. So now what I can do is this is done. And then in the next episode we're gonna make uh, the rest of it. And uh, after in the next episode we're gonna make the upper half of it, like the connecting part. And then we're gonna texture it and then render it in the same texturing, uh, texturing part of the video. So hope you like it and please subscribe if you uh, like the channel and if you like the video. And it will be very nice if you can like the video and as well comment whatever you thought of the video. And if you have any thoughts like any comments regarding what you want in the next video or if you want to tell me about what specific uh, software or um, specific uh, product or, or a topic like uh this uh, uh this thing or a tap or uh, even water how to animate as well so uh hope you guys like the videos i'm making and please subscribe uh subscribe and thank you for watching uh i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out